Welcome back to Low at Home. This is Attorney Rick Corintuza, and we are now closing our series on land ownership in the Philippines. Just to have a quick review, we learned in this series that our basis of ownership is the Regalian Doctrine, which says that all lands belong to the state. All lands of the public domain belong to the state. And that's why, kung gusto mong magtituluhan or mag you, you want to claim a parcel of land in the Philippines, kailangan mo ng grant authority from the state. Okay? Kasi doon nagagaling lahat ng um, ang, ang titulo okay, over a parcel of land dito sa ating bansa. And pangalawa, we learned that there is a system of registration of land in the Philippines. That is a torrent system. This makes it convenient for all of us to register our title. At the same time, lahat ng dealings, transactions over a parcel of land, dito makikita. Kaya, mabilis yung mga transaction natin. And it will also um, avoid fraud when it comes to land dealings. Kasi nga, dapat transparent eh. This will promote transparency. Lahat ng mga dealings dapat nakaregister dito. Otherwise, hindi yun i-honor. No? Wala yung uh, wala yung legal effect, no? Sabi nga ng batas, it is the act of registration that is the operative act. Operative act meaning yun ang may legal effect in so far as the whole world is concerned. That's why, pag may titulo ka na, notice to the whole world yan na ikaw na ang nagmamayari ng property na yan. Okay, and we also learned that there are three modes under our law to acquire or obtain Torrance title. First is the ordinary or original registration proceedings. No? Of course, judicial ito. Dadaan tayo ng court based on Section 14 of PD 1529. Pangalawa is through administrative proceedings based on Section 103 of PD 1529 by virtue of patent. Kaya may tinatawag na na free patent title. Diba? Administrative yan. You don't have to go to court. Doon ka sa uh, Bureau of Lands or Land Registration Authority. Number three, cadastral proceedings. Judicial din ito, pero ang nag-initiate ay ang gobyerno. Okay? Based on Section 35, 36, 37, and 38 of PD 1529. But whatever modes, whatever whatever mode or way, if if you have, if you, pag natapos na, you will have the Torrance title. Okay? And that's why, maisyuhan ka na ng original certificate of title. And this original certificate of title, ito din ay tinatawag na Torrance title. And so what if you have the Torrance title? Ano ba ang value ng title na ito? Number one, this is again, notice to the whole world na ikaw ang nagmamayari. Okay? Uh, sa, sa mata ng batas, wala nang iba. But ikaw na ang nagmamayari. So, lahat ng transaction over this parcel of land, dapat din nakaregister sa Torrance system. For example, Okay, di ba? Original certificate of title ito. If you want to sell it, or if you will sell it, or if you want yet to transfer title to somebody else, dapat yung document na yan, yung deed of sale, for example, or deed of donation. Uh, kaya, you got to present that also to the registry of deeds together with the original certificate of title para i-register doon. So, what will the registry of deeds do? I-cancel niya yung original certificate of title in your name then it will issue a new transfer certificate of title in favor of the buyer or the donee for that matter. Okay? So, dapat nakalagay doon. Another important characteristics no, ng Torrent system or when it comes to Torrent's title is that, again, since notice to the whole world ito, magiging good faith ka lang in dealings with parcels of land if you look at the title, no? So, kaya sabi natin, yung mga purchaser in good faith and poor value, yung uh, bumibili ka ng property na good faith ka, you will be in good faith if nakikita mo, tinignan mo yung title, you you do due diligence, tinignan mo yung title, at wala kang nakikita doon na mga annotation na nagpapakita na may ibang tao na may karapatan sa property na ito. If Clean yung title, okay ka na na makipag-deal sa property na yan and you will be in good faith. Okay? Kaya may sinasabi sa Torrance sa patas natin, no? sa land registration, 
na tinatawag na the mirror principle. Ang mirror principle. Di ba? Pag tinitingnan mo sa mirror, ang nakikita mo kung ano ang nandyan. So, kaya parang mirror eh. Parang salamin itong titulo na ito. If you deal with the property, you don't have to look at the back or somewhere else, no? To look for whatever uh, evidence contrary to what is written there. What you see is what you get in the torrent system. And you are safe to rely on whatever is reflected in the title. Another important characteristic no, and benefit of a Torrance title is this. If you have this, after one year from the issuance of the decree of registration, magiging indefeasible and incontrovertible na yan. Anong ibig sabihin ito? Indefeasible, di ba? Uh, from the word defeat, no? hindi na pwedeng i-defeat, hindi na pwedeng talunin yan ng whatever evidence, no? After one year, no? Na from the time na na-issue na yan, kasi magiging indefeasible and in, in, incontrovertible, hindi na pwedeng mag-present ng ibang evidence yung ibang tao, no? Para talunin ang titulo na yan because it will be indefeasible and incontrovertible. Kaya, sabi nga natin, the purpo, one of the purposes of Torrance system is to quiet title. Kaya nga, pag may Torrance title ka na, dapat tahimik na no? yung pagmamayari mo. You can rest assured that nobody else will annoy and will disturb your ownership over the parcel of land. Another important characteristic of this title, ang value nito is imprescriptible na ito. Ano ibig sabihin? Di ba sabi natin na yung unregistered land, yung hindi pa natonin system, if you occupy, if you possess that parcel of land for so long a time, like 10 years or 30 years, magiging sayo na yan. But pag may title ka na, yung ibang tao, kahit nag-occupy pa sila ng property na yan for so long, as long as may titulo ka, it will not prescribe. No? Hindi nila pwedeng uh, magiging sa kanila yan. Because again, they are, they are charged with knowledge because of the Torin system na may nagmamayari na niyan. You are the owner already. So hindi nila pwede sabihin, hindi namin alam. Because again, precisely, that's the purpose of the Torin's title. The Torin's title is notice to the whole world. Kaya, pag nag-possess, pag nag, uh, nakatira sila doon, kahit gaano katagal, hindi na mag-prescribe yung titulo nila doon. Alright? But of course, yung mga tao no, na agreed, no, baka after the issuance of the title, there are persons na nagsasabi na, hindi, sa amin yan. No? We are, we are uh, questioning that uh, title. What, what will be the remedy of those agreed by the issuance of the decree in favor of, of the, the applicant? No? Actually, there are several legal remedies. Um, well, they can file a you know, uh, motion for reconsideration, try a new trial, appeal, or petition for review, um, action for reconveyance or damages. Available din yan. But then, dapat their evidence, dapat may evidence sila na may fraud na nangyayari. But the action to reopen the... Um, Registration proceedings, they should do that within one year, okay? From the time of the issuance of the decree. Because again, otherwise, magiging indefeasible and incontrovertible na yan. And then, but it has to be based on actual fraud. Dapat may actual fraud na nangyayari in the registration process. And one of the characteristics ng Torrance title then is it's not subject to collateral attack. Meaning to say, if you want to question the legality of the title, dapat mag-file ka ng kaso na talaga ang purpose mo is to question, is to nullify or to set aside the decree of registration. Hindi mo pwedeng erase itong Sabihin mo na, no, hindi illegal yan, hindi yan tama, mali yung title na yan kasi ako ang nagmamayari. You cannot file it in some other actions other than a direct action against the title. So dapat doon mo erase yon Hindi pwede na side beat lang na argument sa isang kaso na hindi naman yun ang purpose to declare it null and void or 
to set aside or to cancel the title itself. So, friends, those are the most important, no? The, those are the um, areas where um, ang, ang mga issue no, about the Torrance title ay uh, importante. And again, um, if, if, you, if we summarize no, the whole series that we have, masasabi natin na the system of registration is really a matter of notice. Kaya if we talk about dealings with this property, dapat dito ipapasok lahat sa system, the Torrance system of registration. And if we want to determine whether good fit or bad fit ka, titignan din ng court whether you rely on the Torrance title or the Torrance system of registration. So yun, yun lang yun. And whatever issues about um, about or questions about the Torrance title, dapat you have to file it directly. Meaning questioning the title. Hindi pwedeng side arguments lang or defense or whatever uh, collateral attack lang in some other action between parties okay, na may claim over that parcel of land. Alright? So friends, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I hope that you've learned something. I encourage you to send in your questions by typing in the comment section below or by sending a message to our uh, page, Attorney Rico Rentuza. And uh, if you want to share this to people whom you know, um, who may have legal problems or whom you want to, to share the knowledge or information, you can tag them or share the video to them and also... Uh, ask them to like our page and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rico and Tucson. So friends, thank you so much and uh, see you next uh, episode for another series, another interesting series about everyday law that affects our lives. All right. And uh, so again, this is Attorney Rico and Tucson. Thank you for joining Law at Home. And I'm reminding you to stay at home, stay safe and stay out of legal trouble. Bye-bye. God bless you.